Breaking news tonight, the family of a teenager with autism says he was wrongfully shot with a stun gun last August. The family attorney released never before seen body cam footage of what happened. We need to warn you, some of this video may be disturbing to watch. 7 News' Kelsey O'Donnell is joining us live now with more on this. Kelsey. Well, Amy, Gordon, the family spoke for the first time today, sharing that 17 year old Aaron Vasquez was reported missing back in August of last year. And it wasn't until a Good Samaritan called 911 reporting that they had seen a man walking up and down the side of the road, appeared to be lost with pajamas on backwards. That's when deputy, former deputy James Trotter was sent out to the scene and the case unfolded. You're going to get tased. It all started with this. There was no altercation. There are clearly several minutes where Aaron Vasquez is helplessly wanting the officer to stop abusing him. In this newly seen body cam footage released by the attorney of 17 year old Aaron Vasquez, the autistic teen can be seen shot with a stun gun multiple times by former Pickens County Deputy James Trotter. At one point, the officer asked him to put his hands behind his back and he does so for which he's rewarded with more tasing. On Wednesday, we were given an edited version of the footage from the attorney's office. Deputy Trotter then says, is it Sanchez? Is it Gomez? And when Aaron doesn't respond, he tases him. Aaron was of no threat to Deputy Trotter. He did not run. He did not flee. He did not have a weapon. However, the lawsuit says Vasquez was stunned a total of 17 times in a five minute time span. He proceeds to tase him over and over and over for the course of five minutes until someone else arrives. He has so much anxiety now and it breaks my heart because they tased him 17 times. It's not fair. Um, I just want justice for him. That's all I have to say. Former Deputy James Trotter was arrested by SLED agents back in January and charged with two counts of misconduct in office and second degree assault and battery. Now Vasquez's attorney wants to make sure he is held accountable. We will prosecute this case as long as it takes to make sure that there at the end of the day is justice for Aaron and hopefully this never happens again. Now, as for what's next, Vasquez's attorney says the sheriff's office will be given a chance to respond and then they will move forward with the lawsuit. We did reach out to the Pickens County Sheriff's Office today and they were unable to comment due to the pending case. Live in Greenville, Kelsey O'Donnell, 7 News. Kelsey, thank you. Former Deputy Trotter has since been released from jail on a $30,000 bond.